This is the story of the Husqvarna Power Axe, an electric chainsaw that came to me in a moment of compromise. But sometimes the things you end up with end up being just fine in the end. I just did a video about the 325 ILK combi trimmer and this uses the same battery as do other things in their ecosystem of electric whatevers. So this is what it comes with minus the bar oil. It is the 350i which is mid consumer grade numbering with 100 series being crap for fools and the 500 series being higher quality pro stuff. <laughs> as the name may imply, is not for licensed T-Man cosplay, but is part of a Husqvarna tradition of occasionally giving products human memorable names, like the iconic Rancher. And that's, that's all I can think of. Anyways, the I in 350i stands for electric, and this comes with a 7.5 amp hour BLI30 battery, which you do have to check cross product compatibility on their website, which oddly enough does not list the BLI30 battery as being compatible with the Power X, even though it literally comes with it. This is a 2023 new product, and the battery has been around for a while, not that that's an excuse. The least you can do is care enough to update your website to promote new products. Now you would think that this is the QC250 charger, but it is the not for individual sale 40C80, unless you live in Europe, with the exception of if you are buying the eight that come with the 40C80 charging rail kit. It outputs 1.6 amps and can be used for quote, occasional use. I don't know why it has to be occasional. If anything, it would be more often because it takes longer to charge. Here's a chart of all their chargers with output in amps, time it takes to charge the BLI30 battery if it were totally dead, which you should avoid doing, and cost of the charger. So you're getting a $450 chainsaw with a hypothetical $60 charger and a $310 battery that comes down to an $80 chainsaw. When you buy the Power X without the battery, it sells for $280 or an extra $200. So keep that in mind when you're buying your chainsaw. Batteries be expensive. You wanna spend $280 for a chainsaw? Or do you want to spend $80 for a chainsaw? Think about it. Think about it for a long time. Think about it. I know it's subtle. The savings is subtle. But if you really think about it, $80 is less than $280 that you'd be spending on that chainsaw. What? Okay. In the box, after you unbox the contents of the box, you will find Instructions for tightening the chain. It's just a spinny thing you unlock and turn up or down. You also get instructions for what you're supposed to do when you first use it. And the real instruction manual for those who like to read, we salute you. And then the bar and chain oil that I got for $24 on Amazon. My Paul was like, what are you doing buying that? I can get five gallons for $25. I'm sure there's significant rounding down in that number. Boomers be like, I got a deal, and it was not as good as I'm telling you it is. Hello, chumps. Who would put a sign like that there? Okay, now we're gonna use this thing. Turn it on, push the lever in and forward, and then you can hit the trigger. So there's boost mode. I got the 325 ILK and it has the reverse in that it's the exact opposite. You turn it on regular mode or you put it in eco mode. And I couldn't tell the difference. I still haven't deduced that situation, but it's the same battery from the previous video. The point is boost mode runs the motor faster and I can tell the difference. We're gonna start in regular mode. Thank you. 
And now boost mode. Now back to regular mode. Really, there's no need to boost with what I'm doing here. But let's do boost one more time. I really wanted a shorter bar for small trees and cleanup, but I wasn't able to buy either the 535i or 540i chainsaws. At least not without a really high markup when it was listed as out of stock, and I think I was having issues getting the 9.4 amp hour BLI 300 battery, which is also compatible with my 325 ILK combi trimmer. This 7.5 amp hour BLI 30 battery has a little less capacity than the 300 and a lot more than the 5 amp hour BLI 200. It's tempting to want the biggest battery, which is also a heaviest battery, so I think I prefer something in between. If you compare the 30 to a tank of gas, you're gonna come up short, and if you're using this for a job, the kind where you leave your house and go somewhere else, make sure the battery is fully charged. It depends on what you're doing, but in general, if it's constantly going, it will deplete fast, maybe in like 20 minutes, but using it in a more considered way, it might last 45 minutes. So when I'm using it with a hitch trimmer, it lasts a long time. When I'm using it with a leaf blower attachment, it goes really quick. So why am I going electric when gas is so clearly better? Okay, things I don't like about two-stroke engines. Mixing oil and gas, choking and pull starting, and pull starting, and opening the carb, and pull starting, and hoping and praying that it won't stall as it warms up. You spend more time getting it started than you actually are doing the job. I just wanna push a button and have a thing start. I wanna go through this, like, experience, and it's just the sound it makes. It is the most unappealing pitch a motor could possibly be. And they stink. Like, it's just like, exhaust hell. You use it for 30 seconds, and you're gonna smell like gas the rest of the day. But no, there's no casual. There's no like, oh, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go get that thing there. No, no, yo, congratulations. You smell like gas for the rest of the day. Send your hate comments, but for my entire life, I have disliked two-stroke engines, so I am naturally into anything that is an alternative to them. I might be going easy on this chainsaw, and I don't expect it to do as much, but the experience of using it is much more enjoyable. Gas chainsaws of a similar power rating are cheaper and built better, so I guess I'm paying a premium for having a better experience. Boomers be like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if you don't try and fix it, you don't know if it can be made better. And I believe that for my landscaping tools, this path can lead to a better and brighter future. For somebody's children. When I compare it to electric chainsaws that cost twice as much, I don't think are they twice as good. It's like comparing an economy car to a Ford f 2 Many 50s Texas Steakhouse Edition. They both can cut down trees just fine, but how big they are and how many trees you have to cut down for your commute will determine which ride is the ride you should ride. So cutting up half an apple tree used about 50% battery. Is that the end? That's the end. This is a tepid first impression, not a deep dive. Good day. <laughs> It's a bastard motor, and most of the machines that they're put in, literally, they just vomit on themselves. So they're always caked in vomit. And people call them weed eaters. They're not, they're not eating. They're just like, blah, blah, like, blah. There's no eating in that. It's just blah. <laughs> it's just vomit. They're vomit machines. They just vomit grass. There's no weed eating. Weed eating would be as if there was nothing left. They ate it all. That'd be a weed eater. Don't call him a weed eater. It's not what it does. Anyways, that's not so much a two-stroke engine thing, but come on. It's a string trimmer. This string is trimming the stuff.